Hi everyone, welcome to another video. In today's video, I would like to talk about data validation for data sets. I do have three main things I want to focus on when I validate data. Level of detail, sources and columns, and data types. I do want to start with level of detail because I find it so important, especially when we down the line work with products such as Tableau. All these data visualization softwares thrive when the backend is as simple as possible and customized for them. What do I mean by we have to check the level of detail. First thing we want to understand is what is the lowest level of detail we need and can we summarize it as one row for column A plus column B plus column C. Let's imagine we are a supermarket chain and we want to know how many items were sold by each location. In this case, the lowest level of detail we need is supermarket ID item name and we do not need item ID in that case. Why is it important to be able to summarize this in one sentence? Well, sometimes you might want a combination of columns to be unique. So in this case right here, I see that I have supermarket one apples and supermarket one pears, but I don't want to see supermarket one apples two times because if I do that, the aggregation will be also there twice. So I suggest in order to validate this, just do a select count item name and group it by supermarket ID and see if there's any item names basically that show up twice per supermarket ID. And in case you find duplicates, you can go back to the SQL and correct whatever needs to be corrected. Now, of course, we are free to have our aggregations at any level of detail. It doesn't have to be at the lowest level of detail present in the data set. Consider the case in which you do need item ID in your final data set, but you also already want to aggregate the number number of items for each supermarket ID so that the data visualization software down the line doesn't have to do it. Just please remember to have it well documented, to name the column clearly, and to have clear direct communication with the developers down the line. So the second thing to check is definitely sources and columns. So we want to make sure that the sources are the ones we need to use and that the columns used are the ones we need for the data set. It's very nice to have another set of eyes to check all these things. And last but not least is to check the data type. I'm thinking especially of Boolean and dates. There's no need for Tableau or whatever other software to in the workbook convert data types. So check all these little things and it will make the whole process smoother, more efficient also to compute for the data visualization and it will eventually deliver beautiful and fast uh, dashboards that everybody will love. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have other steps you have in mind for the data validation, please let me know. Thank you so much and see you next month.